it is time. It is time. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Matter of Fate pre-show. I'm your commentator tonight only for the pre-show. They call me the Sun God, but my name is Peyton. And here we have our first competitor of the night coming out. This is Justin Yagami. Justin coming off a really hard loss to Chris Franchise. And you gotta know that Justin wants to turn his win-loss streak around in tonight's match. He must win this match. But I know his opponent tonight well. And that will be a tall order. Can Yagami persevere and get that W? And speaking of that tall order, it's Juwan Conrad. Juwan, a very vicious competitor, coming off a hard loss himself to Aiden Ali. And you know Juwan's not taking any more shit. He seems more serious, more focused. It seems he's looking to add a certain Yagami to that jacket of his, of victims. If you want a prime dismantler of his opponents, I would not want the Yagami right now. And here we go. Rallying the crowd behind him. Now the circle. Locking up. Yagami's got Juwan in the waist lock. Bringing him down. Yagami's filling this crowd. But he made a mistake of turning his back on Juwan Conrad. Strikes in the midsection, now attacking the head of Justin Yagami. Off the ropes with Burney, but missed it. Yagami going for something. He's got a pin. Not even a one count. One off the ropes. Head scissor. No. Oh. No, Justin, we don't do that. Juwan saying that he has it under control. Egging Yagami on. Here he comes, Yagami, on the apron. Not quick enough, Juwan was able to pull him off right in time. Now against that barricade. Juwan just playing with Yagami. Against that corner and raining the fist on Yagami. Took like a cat in his food, or more likely a pit ball in his food. Throwing him inside. Off the ropes. Lariat. Over a pin. One. And Yagami kicks out. Kick to the chest. Snap there. And a kick to the back. <laughs> Leg up onto the arm. As I said, Juwan is a master dismantler. Just playing with his opponent. Put him on that rope. What's he going for here? And... Oh! Just 
hanging him on that rope with that suplex. Now going for a pin. One, two, barely kicking out. It's beyond me why Yagami would want to continue after such a devastating move. Got him in the corner. Forearm. Stop. Stop again. Picking him up. Punch. But you got me to reverse it. Into the corner. Drop kick. Exploder suplex. One. Two. But you want kicks out. Yagami's hyped up. He's ready to go. Elbow. Elbow. Kick. Off the ropes. Atomic drop. And that patented spine buster. One. Two. No. One is relaxing. That is not good for Yagami. And now beckoning Yagami. Charging. Into the stomach. Off the ropes. European uppercut. Another pin. One. Two. No. Yagami kicks out. Elbow to the cranium. Now just breaking that face. Chop block. He's attacking his limbs once again. And now, what is Juwan going here? Knee! Clothesline. Look at Juwan. He has his taken care of and he knows it. One for a pin. One. Two. Kicks out. I don't know if relaxing wasn't a good idea for Juwan, but oh! You got me had time to recover. Now raking his face once again. The Yagami fighting out of it. And now. Alabama Slammer. What's it going for here? Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. That's locked in tight. Would you want to be able to get out? And he gets out. And German. One, two. He's out. One, signaling for the end. The cut throat. Forearm. The Yami's right back up. Here comes Yagami. He's ready. He's ready to take out Juwan. Snap there. But he missed the drop kick. Oh no. Oh no. That patent of DDT. One, two, three. It's over. Juwan saw it in advantage and he took it. Missing that close line barely into that patented lifting DDT that Juwan does. Juwan has reclaimed his honor with that win. And there we see Yukida. And next, we have a Luchador versus Luchador match. El Miado versus Delitro. Or however you say it, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
had a nice accent though. I try, I try. And here, here comes Delitro. The following contest is scheduled for one. Very mysterious competitor. Quite intimidating, I might say. Delitro! He's been all around the world. This is probably a match that everyone be excited to see very fast paced very high flying knowing these competitors I'm excited if you aren't I don't know what's wrong with you And now, out comes his opponent. Ooh, the lights are What's going on here? And you can see in the darkness, the Valor Cruiser Champion runner up. He is El Viado. Mexico, El Mito. El Miato. Been wrestling a lot more often this year. You see him in more places than usual, but tonight, like every night, he will not disappoint you. He is truly an impressive luchador. One can imagine what will happen during this amazing match type. And it is time to begin. There's the bell. The auto is ready for this. So is Jalitro. I mean, I was just staring at Delitro on that top rope. Two are circling now. And now Delitro is doing some talking of his own. Both these men already. Chop. Uppercut. Chop. 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 A third chop. Another chop, a punch, a punch, a kick. Oh, but he missed. Going for the pin. He has that prawn hold in. The auto gets out. Not going for a pin of his own. But Delicio gets out. Now an O'Connor roll. Once again, the auto getting out before the one count. Another kick. Throw him off the ropes. Ducking under. Oh, but he caught him. Demetrio is hyped up. He's ready to go. Off the ropes. He caught him again. And now to spinning around. But Miata gets out. Now off the ropes. But Miyato gets out of the way. Miyato just egging him on. Delitro answering the egging on call. Miyato getting back into the ring. There he goes. Kick. Kicking again. Rock just, just pounding Delitro with these kicks. Throw him off the rope. Duck under, jump over, drop kick. Never doubt El Miato.
he, he, he kind of dazed. As he gets pelted with these strikes. A chop. A kick to this gut. Now he's in the corner. Miata's perching up. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he pushed him off. Going for a seventh punch. And now Miata's in the corner. He's egging him on. And a kick to the face. Luring Miata in. And a European uppercut. Going for a pin. One. Two. No. Chopping. Snap mare into a headlock. Trying to ground Miato. Smart move keeping the high flyer down. And Delitro has that on his agenda. But look at this. Look at this. Miata's breaking free. Oh, but he's got him. Oh, oh, arm bar. He has him in an arm bar. Miata tried to get some offense in, but he was locked in an arm bar. Miata breaks free. Now he's going for here. Just tripping him over. And now. He's got him in that submission. Just bending him over his knee. He's got a pin. But Miata kicks out. Going for another pin. This time a schoolboy. One. No. And now. But look at Miata. Getting out of that arm wrench. Off the ropes. And a head scissor. Now there is his height. He's got the crowd behind him. He's ready. Oh, but a basement drop kick. Right to the knees, stopping the auto in his tracks. He might have been going for that patented super kick. Another drop kick. This time to the chest. And now a pin. One. Two. No. Drop kick to the back. Drop kick to the head. Just a flurry of drop kicks, ladies and gentlemen. One. Two. No. Miata's holding on. He won't let go. Electra trying to figure out what to do now. A kick to the back. Bring him back up again. Another kick, but oh no. Punch. Throw him to the outside. What is Miata going for here? Oh! He just soared through the sky. And now a replay of that, ladies and gentlemen. You can see I got a little excited there. I'm always excited for an El Miato match. He just cleared that top rope like it was nobody's business. My God. This is a great match, ladies and gentlemen. Every match so far has been spectacular. And I'm sure that will continue throughout the night. Onto the top rope. Here comes Miato. bringing him down with that diving double punch I might say going for a pin one two no that didn't keep Felicio down and now kick to the back soccer ball kick right to that back and now moon salts going for a pin one no a move that is very dear to my heart, the moonsault. But I just couldn't keep 
Felicio down. Forearm. Forearm. Let's go for here. Into the corner. Looks like he's taking him to the top rope. What can y'all be thinking here? Oh no, this never ends good. This never ends good. Oh, he's off for a brain buster. Oh, but Delitro knees him in the head. And now Delitro going to the top rope. Cannonball! One, two, no. Miyoto manages to kick out after bringing all his weight down on his opponent. Delitro still couldn't. But what's, what's Delitro doing here? He's arguing with the referee. I guess that was a three count to him, but referee is the official in this match. Says it was two. Chop. Another chop. A third chop. On the outside. Let's go for here. Sunset fl flip. Oh, what's he going for here? He's got submission locked in. This match has been so quick pace. I'm, I'm stumbling over my words, ladies and gentlemen. Will we auto tap out? No. Knee in the head of Delitro. He breaks out. And now, he's going for here. A surfboard stretch. We let him out, though. Arm bar. He's got the arm bar locked in. Shades of <laughs> the arm bar Jesus, Joshua Phoenix. Sorry, Phoenix. I love you. Oh, no. But Delitra just striking Miato in the head. And now bringing him to his knees. Driving his head into the mat. That's got to be it. But he's not going for a cover here. Oh, no. What's he going for here? Cartwheel. Auto roll. Going for that pin. One. Two. The auto kicks out at two. Zulichro definitely wondering, what can I do in this match to put Miato away? And on that second rope. Swanton! Going for the pin. One. Two. No. I'm starting to wonder what Zulichro can do to put Miato away. Maybe he's just found an answer going to the top rope. Oh no! He missed the stomp! Super kick! And now, Miata's not done there. He's going to the top rope. Swanton! One, two, three. That was it. Ladies and gentlemen, that match was was amazing, ladies and gentlemen. That stop opened up Miyato's chance to hit that super kick. And then right here, as you see, with the Swanton to get that three count. Miyato shows why he was almost the Cruiserweight Champion of Valor. What a hard part match. And we got more coming. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you see, episode five, our tag division arrives. It's gonna be one hell of a division to crown the future tag team champions. 
And there we see Hannah Brightly, the hometown hero, the Seattle Seahawk herself, taking on Nikita in our main event of the pre-show tonight. And here she comes. The queen of rainbows and sunshine, Hannah Brightly. The following match will be our final fellow match anime lover. Part of the trifecta of anime fans in this industry. Everybody's favorite wrestler, Hannah Brightly. But tonight, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. She's facing an old friend in Nikita. And here she is. A Robbie Scott gym trainee, just like Hannah Brightly, Nikita Gaynor. Nikita Gaynor. These two have a lot of history together, but Nikita just returned from a tour. But tonight in Seattle, Washington, will Hannah Brightly? conquering Nikita in her hometown. Having that home court advantage, of course. And now, Hannah Briley taking on one of her classic opponents in Nikita. Oh, and a kick right away. Getting out of the ring. Just taunting Nikita. These two knew each other so well. Hannah knows what makes Nikita tick. Now off the ropes. Oh, but caught in the side slam. Go for a pin. One, two. Barely a two count, ladies and gentlemen. She's got a hold of her head. What's she gonna do here? Oh! Bring that hefty forearm onto the chest of Petite Hannah Brightly. Thanks going for it again. And she does. Another pin. One, two. The Hannah kicks out. Hannah holding on in her hometown. It's attacking that head off the ropes. But Hannah caught her in a head scissor. Hannah's, she's ready. She's beckoning Nikita. And now, an elbow. Going to the pin. One, two. And Nikita kicks out. Now kick to the back. And a issuing her old rival to stay down. Splitting her to the ground. Going for another pin. One, two. No. And now, the trot. And Akita didn't like that very much. Just tossing Hannah Brightly. And now she's, she's crying, making fun of Hannah. Let's go over here. Headbutt. Not just tossing her aside. Saying it's over. Tossing her again like a rag doll. There's definitely a size disadvantage for Hannah Brightly here, and she's feeling it right now. Tossed on the outside. Look at the power of Nikita just tossing Hannah Brightly to the outside, as if she was a toy. This crowd is not happy with what's happening to their hometown hero, Hannah Brightly. 
But Hannah, with that press, and now rain the punches down. Stomping on Nikita. She won't let her hometown down. I forgot five count. Just slamming Nikita against the apron. The hardest part of the ring, may I add. I can attest to that. Anna Bradley pawning it up, but she passed look behind her. Lariat. Going for a pin. One. Two. No. That Lariat was so hard that Hannah sat back up from the from the impact, ladies and gentlemen. Put her in the corner. Turning her around. The rainy punches on her head. Another one. More and more and more. Hannah's being brutalized here. Going against the ropes. Slam. Going for that pin. One. Two. No. Hannah's not. Going to lose in her hometown. The queen of sunshine and rainbows doesn't lay down for anybody. And now, a chop to the face. Another chop to the face. A third chop to the face. I up to the other turnbuckle. The trot. She's ready to go. And a clothesline, ladies and gentlemen. And now she's got that front face lock. Sorry, that... That chin lock, ladies and gentlemen. And Nikita tap out. No, she gets free. And now, a snap mirror into what seems to be a modified arm bar. Just applying pressure to that arm, wrenching on it. The hand flips out. Look at her. Look at her. Elbow to the face. And now slamming Nikita to the ground. Drop kick. And it was able to get out of that arm bar. These two know each other so well. What's she going for here? Beckoning Nikita. She's ready to fly. And an axe handle. Now she's going for the top rope now. And a splash going for the pin. One, two, no. Now stopping on her rival, telling her to stay down. And Nikita, oh, that shoulder block. Switch control to her side, Nikita. And tossing hand it again. to the middle, what you gonna do here? Oh! Oh! Just bending that leg in a way he's not supposed to be. Going on the turnbuckle herself. Oh no! Oh, and a splash of her own. All that weight coming down on poor Hannah Bradley. One! Two! No! Now just carrying the dead weight of Hannah Bradley to the corner. Lifting her to the top. Oh no, this can't be good. She's got it, she's going for something big. Superplex! All oh, that weight and power and the height. Hannah Bradley has to be over. It has to be done. One, two, no! Can I probably hold on? This is impressive. This is impressive. I don't know what to say, ladies and gentlemen. I guess determination. Nice talking to the fans. The hand 
goes back up. She hits it. That patented move will end it. One, two, three. And it has done it. See, Hannah Bradley has made herself into the four women gauntlet. She may be the next women's champion. That's all the time we have for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And now, matter of fate, the main show begins in just a moment. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.